This is the Old Faithful Inn at Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming. Of all the classic National Park lodges, I think this one is my favorite. The inn is the largest log building in the world, and it's only a short walk away from the world's most famous geyser, Old Faithful. The original old house of the inn was built in 1903, so that includes all of the original lobby and the old rooms. These are the iconic red doors at the entrance. The building is a National Historic Landmark. They have an Old Faithful clock inside the lobby where they predict each eruption of Old Faithful, which goes off every 45 minutes to two hours. The tall gabled logs of the magnificent and expansive lobby is one of the greatest wonders of Yellowstone National Park. The inn was designed by Robert Reamer, who was 29 years old at the time, and worked as an architect for the Yellowstone Park Company, the development branch of the Northern Pacific Railway. There's a huge stone fireplace in the lobby with an ironwork clock. This is the quintessential example of rustic architecture. It even smells like lodgepole pine, and the tables and furnishings are very old fashioned. When the inn opened in 1904, it had electric lights and steam heat. Up on the third floor is the staircase to the crow's nest, a platform way up towards the ceiling 92 feet above the lobby floor. You used to be able to go up there, but after the 1959 earthquake they've blocked it off to the public unfortunately. I've always really wanted to go up there. Originally the musicians would play from up here, and they had a spotlight aimed at Old Faithful to illuminate it at night. This is the dining room, a very fancy place to eat with log scissor trusses. It does look very much as it did when it served its first guests over a hundred years ago. And there's some old paintings depicting Yellowstone geysers like Old Faithful. This is part of the 1927 West Wing, which was also designed by Reamer. This is the original part of the inn. The rooms are still very old fashioned, some without bathrooms. It's very dark, but I'm staying in one of the original rooms. There's a whole bunch of additions, but uh, this is one of the oldest rooms. Pretty neat. And this is the view out the window. You can see some pretty neat architectural features of this amazing building. Like I said, this is just one of my favorite buildings. And this is the bathroom of the old room. Pretty neat. Has this old uh, furnace, I think. I should know that, but I don't. Um, there's the, the fancy bathtub shower. Even the latches on the door are super old school. I was able to get into room 127 where I read in a Yellowstone ghost story that an unhappy bride got beheaded in the bathtub of this room in 1915.
there is a huge balcony on the front of the inn, and it's positioned so that you can look at Old Faithful from it. So I took advantage of it at 6.30 in the morning to watch an Old Faithful eruption. I do have a separate video on Old Faithful. I've been to Old Faithful in winter. The inn is completely shuttered and looks abandoned, but then it's so crowded in the summer. Right by the Old Faithful Inn is Hamilton's store. There was a series of stores open near major Yellowstone attractions by 21-year-old Charles Hamilton, providing food and souvenirs. He put these twig decorations on the front saying Hamilton's store in 1904, and Robert Reamer apparently designed those. This building was actually built in 1897 as Clammer's General Store, but Hamilton purchased it in 1902. It's still a gift shop. And they have a diner where I ate breakfast. The Old Faithful General Store on the other side of the inn was built during the 20s. Along with being right next to Old Faithful, the inn is very accessible from the Upper Geyser Basin Trails. And you can see the inn in the background for parts of the trail. President Theodore Roosevelt visited here in 1903. Calvin Coolidge and Franklin D. Roosevelt have also stayed here. Now I'm going to enjoy the Grand Lobby in the evening. It is one of my favorite places in the world to just sit and enjoy life. There's one popular story that on August 25th, some unknown year in the early 1900s, a freak blizzard struck the Old Faithful area, and the guests were trapped inside the inn, so they celebrate Christmas in August. Alright, so that was the Old Faithful Inn. I absolutely love this place. This is one of my favorite hotels that I've ever stayed at. Um, just so you know, if you want to stay here, um, you need to arrange that on May 1st of the year before you're gonna come. Um, but it's freaking expensive, but I would say it's well worth it for, you know, just a night. Um, especially these old rooms, very historic, very neat. Um, if you like this video, I have other videos at uh, the National Park Inns, at the National Parks, and at all sorts of stuff, so uh, please go check those videos out, and thanks for watching.